What is going on college basketball fans? Welcome back to another video. Today we got some massive news revolving around the Gonzaga Bulldogs as the number one transfer available in the entire country just committed to transfer to Gonzaga and play for the Bulldogs next year and that being Malachi Smith out of Chattanooga. Also, actually before Malachi Smith committed, some other big time news Things just keep getting better and better for Gonzaga as one of the best players in the country opted out of the NBA draft, Drew Timmy, and will return and play for Gonzaga next year. I mean, that is so huge. That is literally 40 points per game returning to your roster in one day. That immediately makes them contenders for me, and we're going to get into all that in just a second. I just want to say subscribe if you guys are new. We do a ton of college basketball content here on the channel. Also, drop a like. That helps spread it out to more college basketball fans. And let's get right into it. All right, guys. So like I said, picking up Malachi Smith was absolutely huge. Last year for Chattanooga, he averaged 20 points per game, seven rebounds per game as a guard. That is so impressive and so helpful to your team. Also, three assists per game, shooting 50% from the field and 41% from behind the arc. I mean, that is such an impact player to pick up on your team. Like I said, he was my personal number one transfer still available in the portal. As soon as he entered the portal, he became my number one ranked transfer. And this is just so huge. He led the Chattanooga Mocs to the NCAA tournament last season. And I believe he is going to have a big, big year in the West Coast Conference for the Bulldogs this year. Drew Timmy returning ops out of the NBA draft last year for Gonzaga. He averaged 18 points per game, seven rebounds per game, three assists per game, and shot 60% from the field. We all know he is one of the best players in all of college basketball, one of the best centers, an amazing post player, and he is so helpful to have on your team. That is, like I said, literally 40 points per game returning to your roster in one day. That is so huge. The next thing I wanted to talk about is Gonzaga's backcourt for next year. In my opinion, they might have the best backcourt in all of college basketball. If it's not the best, it's one of the best. Listen to the depth on this backcourt. First up, you got Malachi Smith. We talked about him. He is an absolute stud. Then you got Rasir Bolton. We all know that he has the potential to average about 15, 16 points per game. We've seen him do it at Iowa State and last year for Gonzaga. He did about 11 points per game. So that is a huge piece to have there at your one and your two. And then who I believe who will probably start at the three, Julian Strother. Last season, he averaged 12 points per game and five rebounds per game. He could even step it up again this year and he will be a huge piece for that team. And then who I think it will be the six man and for this team, also a guard is Nolan Hickman, a former top 40 recruit in the nation. He's going to be coming in for his sophomore year, and I think he will have a big step up and be one of the best players coming off the bench for this team. I'm very excited to watch this backcourt play. My personal projected starting lineup for Gonzaga this year is Malachi Smith at the one, Rasir Bolton at the two, Julian Strother at the three, Anton Watson, also another former top 50 recruit. I think he could take a big step up this year as well. I have him starting at the four, and then of course the mustache man himself, Drew Timmy, at the five. Absolute beast. Nolan Hickman, a lot of depth off that bench. This roster is going to be amazing. And I think that they become contenders with these two moves right here. And I believe they join this top tier of contenders that I have right now. I'm going to list a few of my top tier contenders going into next year. Gonzaga joins that list for sure. Then you have North Carolina. They are returning four starters from that team that made the championship game last year, and I think that they will have a very, very good season. Houston, they are returning Marcus Sasser, another player who opted out of the draft like Drew Temme. They are going to have a very good team this year because they hit through the portal and recruiting, and now Marcus Sasser is returning too. Houston is going to be a problem next year. Kentucky, with Big O returning, I believe that an amazing year this year. Arkansas, they have a lot of 
talent coming through not only the portal but through recruiting. I believe that they have three five-star freshmen coming in this year. They are going to be a problem this upcoming year. And then the Creighton Blue Jays out of the Big East. They are going to be very, very good this year. With Baylor Shireman, they picked up through the transfer portal. They got a lot of playmaking, a lot of shooters on that team. They are going to be dangerous coming out of the Big East. Those are probably my top six uh, tier one contenders heading into this year. No particular order, just six teams that I believe will be contending to win the national championship next year. Let me know what you think about all this down below in the comment section. And Zaga fans, how do you guys feel? I mean, you guys have to be on top of the world right now. These two moves alone just single-handedly made you not only contenders, but possibly one of the favorites to win the championship next year. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>